Hello, it is Sunday, August 26, 2012 at 102 a.m. Central Time. I want to talk to you about um, Hurricane Isaac here. Right, I guess it's Tropical Storm Isaac at the moment. I want you to notice that here we've got it projected that it's going to come up through, oh, Alabama, right up in here. There's one, the purp there's a purple line here that gets kind of close to Louisiana. But when I went over to the Department of Atmospheric um, University of Utah, looking at their troposphere report, I want to show you that it shows something quite different. Here we've got the hurricane coming up, and actually it looks like a direct hit on New Orleans. Then it moves up and around and right over New Madrid. I'll zoom in in a minute here. Now it's repeating the loop. Coming up here, around, and then looking at this map, it'll start again here in a second. There it comes. See, right, right over New Orleans. And actually it hangs over New Orleans for a little bit. And then moves around here. Let me zoom in a little bit. See, it's coming around here. And at the same time, we have a... Well, let me stop the animation here and just kind of zoom through. I'm going to have to zoom out just a little bit to do that. Here we go. This is um, basically now. And as you go down here, like here's 90 hours out. So in 90 hours, you can see over here, it's, it's well, not quite New Orleans. It's over here more. And then you can continue down. So if you run your cursor over it, but this is really interesting that, let's go back to where, it, here's where it's at New Madrid. And there's this whole circular pattern going on. So it looks like it's centered over Texas. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and let it animate again. But if you want to get a key in on the right time, you can go over and look at that to see what, where it will be when. And these usually end up being pretty accurate, so I'm not quite sure why they're showing something totally different on a telecast. I'm sorry about all the flickering, but here you can see it again coming up. This is the troposphere report is what it is. And then when I was checking things out, um, I, kinda, I went to College of DuPage and was looking at the visible satellite images. I noticed that we're having longitude, what I call longitudinal wave signatures show up. And it's a frequency of some sort. I don't know if it's by laser or what that's being put into the storm or into the atmosphere. I don't know. I, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that comes from satellites. Anyway, it's, it shows up on visible. And if I go over here to infrared, you can see that it'll show up here also. See them? You know, I don't, it doesn't look like quite the same thing. There's one down here and one up there. Let's go back over here. Oh, oh no, it's not the same unless the loop is a little different. Again, I don't have my time stamps on my loop, so I can't see how long the loop is. So it looks like we're running a little bit daylight and into night. Let's see here. I can't tell when night shows up. So that's probably the difference is they shut off the um, night. So let's go look at the um, United States, get that one started here. They also show up here. Well, they were showing up. Yeah, there they are. They're really extensive, actually. I'll stop it when we get closer here. Isaac is still off the screen here but all the weather patterns are playing into it. So you can hear this one's coming up over Iowa and up into Great Lakes area up here. Oops. And then here's a big hit down here. See, the signatures look different. Sometimes they're wide, sometimes they're narrow. This one's coming up around in here, and then I kind of lose it. And actually, we have some interesting things going on in Kansas City right now, and this one's going right over Kansas City. But this is earlier in the day. And there's a big hit right there, going back here, here. You can see, um, this is where they've overlapped the image, but you can see that, let me zoom in here, that it, they continue around. See these three, they come around, and here they are over here, zooming in further. See that? 
So they're kind of hidden, so they're not obvious unless you zoom in. I'm going to unzoom here. I'm going to click through a little further. There's another big hit. More. Here's actually one coming from the right. And so I, I assume this is a different satellite image that's put up next to the other one. And then here comes the Terminator line right here. Whoops. Yeah. Right here. The, that time between daylight and night time. And you can see right here where they patch in that. This is like the edge of another one. So it doesn't, isn't quite in sync because it's not as dark. And okay, and then I wanted to show you, here's more of the whole United States. Let's see if we can see the hurricane. Or the actually tropical storm. I guess that, that would be it. It looks like there's two of them. And you can see that some of these are, I'm going to stop it and click through. We've been getting these little glare things, see here and here, pretty much every night. I mean, every night that I've checked it, they'll come into play. And I'm not sure what they are. Actually, there's a center point, like right here, and you can see it radiating out. And the center point here, it's radiating. I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's zoom in a little bit more. See that? There's a plop here, there's a plop there, there's a plop here, and one here. And actually, this is coming around and encompasses Hawaii. Let's unzoom it here. And then here, they cut away the image so you can't see it, what's happening. And actually, the, um, a pulsing that I talked about in Montana is like right in here, and it looks like that's kind of what's been cut out. That may or may not be the case. Let's zoom in here and see if we get, yeah. Well, no, here's a radiation point here. Here's one here and one here. I'm going to zoom in further. See them right there? Let's enhance it, see what we get. Brighten. Nope. <laughs> Let's dim. No, that doesn't help. So I think what we have is, well, when I turn it on red, it's finding another pattern in there. But you can see it right here is a circle and a circle and a circle and that's actually we get a lot of swirling going on right in this whole area under Alaska. Let's unzoom it here and continue on. Turn it back into no enhancement. Look for those longitudinal wave signatures here. So mornings happening across the United States. And you can see here's a hit here. That's, in the, that's that one into Iowa. And here's one right across to Hawaii, and it looks like it goes right into Isaac here. Oops. And here's one up down the middle of the United States, Utah. Can't quite tell where it goes. And there's, I don't know, a, little, a really heavy one up here, a little tight one. And then here's one here, 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 and here. Let's zoom in a little bit more so you can see. Oh, well, come on. Zoom. And there's a heavy one, short one. And here's one that's all the way down the, all the, way down the line. So I'm not exactly sure what those do, but it seems to me that and from what I've been observing is they add frequencies into the storms the different, in different places. And I'm not sure where it's pulling the, the signal from or who's determining what it is. But um, let's go ahead and let this play through. Unzoom it so you can see. So there you have it. Um, God bless you. Have a good rest of the night.